Good morning! So today we're going to check out Casco Viejo, which is the old city of Panama. In Casco we'll be able to go to the Canal Museum, go see a rooftop view of Panama City, and a very well-known restaurant around here. The Canal Museum is a must visit. Almost every plaque is in Spanish and English, so anyone can go. I was very interested in the demographics of the workers of the canal. The plaques explained that there were many workers from Spain, Cuba, and other Caribbean islands, and this contributes to the now high diversity of Panama and the canal area. had an awesome time at the Canal Museum. So now we're gonna wander around Old City with Sombrita and the van was nice and cool for them whenever we got back. Actually cooler in here than it was outside. We're a little bit unsure of this area so hopefully the van's okay. We know that Graham's gonna be okay, especially with one less mouth breather. <laughs> What's going on, Sombrita? <laughs> oh, my thing, baby. This is it magic? It's magic! It's always a key! Buena chica! It's your stuff! These are called concalon. You want to demonstrate how you eat it? It is a rice that has been cooked for too long, made crunchy by the bottom of the pan. I've never had anything like this before. It was served with smoked tomato sauce, and, which was also incredible. Oops. <laughs> so this is where we left the van all day on our escapades around Old Town in Panama City. We are literally right next to the museum. That's the museum that we went to this morning. And here's the van. And this was free, so super fun hanging out in the old city together. We just got in contact with another old Verlander couple in Panama City, Vibes of Panama. So we're gonna go grab a beer with them in the more center of the city. You guys, calamity has struck. We were having the greatest time with our friends here at the bar. That we just met seemed like a nice area the window is broken and it's no big deal because they didn't steal any so i figure they got spooked somebody saw them or something and the problem is the cat graham is gone the new friend says he saw 10 cats right over here graham so news is it happens but as long as we find graham that's all that matters right now we get the window fixed of course i started sweeping out the glass without thinking much but the police are there they're making a police report right now oh man these cats are not my cat graham come here buddy where's my boy no ha visto un gato gris no señor alguien rompió el cristal del de la furgoneta y um no ro no robaron nada pero el gato está perdido y dónde fue eso en otra calle en el uh, rana La rana dorada. Sí. Pero yo debo seguir mirando. Es un gato gris bastante grande. Pero gracias. So that guy. Very nice. Nobody's found a, a cat that's not doing well, at least. Oh, I figure if he 
really got spooked. The guy might have ran who knows how far. Poor little buddy. Someone broke now. into the van. Wow, look at this guy. We found him. He was hiding in the trunk. He crawled down in the trunk somehow. He crawled down in the trunk because he was scared. But somebody was with us. Ugh. Need a new window. He doesn't want to go any Really terrible night. I mean, those people are great and they helped us look for the cat. Fortunately, he did find a crazy hiding spot we've never seen him use. Yeah. Um, pretty but, much as far away from the broken window as possible. I mean, if I were to go back and think things through, I probably would have looked there first. But he never used a hiding spot before. Yeah. They didn't steal anything. We got lucky. But that was stressful AF. I've never been so scared and sad. They did break the window though. The, the police think that someone must have walked by while they were breaking the window and scared the robbers off. They didn't get any of our stuff. Man, they didn't even like get in the van, which is just amazing. They really just broke the window and ran away, so. Yeah, because right here, you would think they would grab this deck first At off. least. And then you would think they would check the glove compartment for the, the papers that are important. And no. Anything. They didn't even come in here, it looks like. And, you know, it's not really a bad neighborhood. But No, it's, a, no, it's supposed to be a good neighborhood. But if I could do it again, I would park a little closer to where we were. I would but, have reparked when yeah. the spots opened up. We're in the parking lot of the place that we went to, but we could not see the van. And the spots inside of the parking lot, I'm sure we're much more safe, so. Okay, so we at first could not find Graham. It was incredibly difficult to find him because he had hid. Whenever someone broke the window, he must have jumped into the bed and crawled into between the bed and the back door and then down because like we told you guys before, there's a lever there to open the back doors and that's where he was hiding. But he has never hidden there before. So we had no clue where he was. And we didn't open the back doors because you can't get to the trunk from here. So, it, oh my gosh, we were wandering around for about an hour, maybe an hour and a half. Us and Vibes of Panama. One of us stayed at the van with Sambrita and then everybody else was wandering, looking and, for Graham. And Vibes of Panama, you know, uh... Uh, they, they feel really terrible, you know, that this looks like their city is like this all the time. Oh, no. You know, this could have happened here. This, this has happened in Spokane to my cousins. And when we first, I came around the corner and I saw broken glass on the ground. And I just looked right up and psh, no window. And I said that to them and I think everybody was like, oh, what's going on? What's going on? And it's like, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. And so I didn't really let myself get too worked up first. I just opened the side door because that door doesn't work, the handle. And I opened the side door and I saw the backpack with the laptop. And I was like, oh, thank God. And then I look up front for the deck, the deck's there. I look at the glove compartment, the stuff's there. So that really took the edge off from the beginning. We are super lucky. Crazy lucky. Then we decided, okay, Bram's gone. Where the F is the cat? And you know what? I, at the start, you know, I've found Bram so many times that I wasn't really worried at the start. Now, we're going to find him easy. But I went like two blocks in every direction, as did they, as did Emily. And, you know, you're seeing some homeless people sleep on them. Okay. Yes, I probably yes. saw about five, five or six. six homeless people sleeping. I wasn't feeling very safe, you know, given that the van was broken into. And uh, I started really getting pretty worried about Graham. And you know, just remembering like all the amazing times I've had with that guy. I cat. know, I was crying and just, hysterically. Like, in Alaska, you know, when he was lost and we found him and we saw the bear. And That's exactly like, what I thought of. Oh, I'm just so glad we found him. You know, I gave him a hug. I the biggest hug. Oh, I he, can't he wouldn't even it. he didn't even want to get sat down for a while. No, he was I put him in the window and he didn't even go hide again. He just sat there right where I put it. Because he was so scared from the window getting broken. Oh, I just don't even know what we're gonna do from now on, like to leave the van differently. 
it hasn't been that scary, but I've, I've tried to think pretty hard and feel like, ooh, I'm glad that it was okay every time, but I think now, yeah, we're going to have to change the policy, either, you know, if we leave the van where we can see it, or we leave it, you know, in a very safe park, like a paid parking. Or we have to leave the dog, because people see a dog in there, they're not covered, and she's yeah. always in the she's, And she barks at people whenever they walk by. People are very afraid of her, and people will cross the street when I'm walking down with her because they're afraid of her. And when it comes to the police, they asked me if I wanted to file the report, uh, like I said earlier, and report to our buddy and say, you know, since there's no um, property loss, the report really won't do that much. So we decided, you know, we're not going to go forward with any legal process. But we got a window to place tomorrow. Yeah, in the rainy city. <laughs> Well, one other thing about Vibes from Panama is that they are letting us stay in a warehouse that their family shares. Oh, if they weren't here, like, then we would be totally out of luck. I don't even know where we would park right now that has a roof if they weren't here. And we would have to spend the night somewhere with a van. Like, it's just amazing that we found them and that we are able to stay in their family warehouse. We just woke up here in Alejandro's family's warehouse. Man, we're so happy that he let us stay here. And and I just talked to his sister and she said that her her workers were like trying to walk around really light footed so that they didn't wake us up. Such nice people. Because it was really hard to sleep after having such a adrenaline rush. So we like I didn't fall asleep until like four o'clock because I just, just kept looking for Graham. Like every couple minutes, I had to like shine a light on where Graham was, and then so yeah, to be able to sleep until like ten, I thought, oh man, I'm just only gonna be able to sleep a couple hours because they're coming. <laughs> so it's really safe, and they've set up this fan here out the back. I don't think we've ever spent the night inside of a building with the van. <laughs> Especially one without bugs. We could leave all the bug nets out and doors open and everything. It was super nice. I gave him the VIN number of the van and I uh, think he's trying to track down a window. I better give him some help on that and hopefully we can get this fixed today. So I called up Peugeot, which has the Peugeot Boxer, which is identical, hopefully. And we're gonna go get a window from the Peugeot uh, dealership here. We got the homie out front, he's gonna help uh, interpret or whatever needs to be done. I didn't tell you guys that actually when I fixed that side door handle with Kurt that it stopped working again shortly after, but this is a chance to get in that door panel again, fix that as well. Two birds with one hug. Can you roll up your window bit? I got the AC on. <laughs> <laughs> Nope. <laughs> Can't roll it up the window. So here at the Peugeot dealership, they're gonna take it apart and see if it fits exactly the same. So they're charging 81 for the window, 90 for labor, half if it doesn't fit. <laughs> Wish us luck. Yeah, the guy said he can reconnect that cable too for us, so that's very nice. So hopefully everything will go well. We're still not to the point of decision. We'll get that door reconnected no matter what. So here's the moment of truth. It's looking like it fits, but just trying to get it in there. Must be a stressful moment. <laughs> yes! Que bien! So it's looking like it works. And he got all the glass out of here. Keep these things on. Uh, and he's just left this thing here so he can test it out. 
What a genius. Well, we're really lucky we have the help of Vasa Shanwa here at yeah. Alejandro. Yeah. Thank you so much, man. You're welcome. And so, you know, less than 14 hours later, we're getting it fixed already, and he's gonna show us around a bit. Yeah, thank you, man. <laughs> Wow, so we got a window again. Please don't break. Oh yeah, it's a good window. <laughs> Deep inside here, we're gonna get this handle reconnected, which I've done before, but then it, you know, slipped out again. So hopefully this guy knows a trick. But we're so lucky to have met Vibes of Panama because he actually negotiated a discount on this and I think got us about 20% off. So very nice uh, getting all this parts and install for less than 150 and a very detail-oriented tech here at the Peugeot dealership in Panama City. So I was gonna show him the same thing back here and I actually disconnected it trying to open it to show him but in here you can see a little easier. That part with the, the green dot right below it that groove fits into here and you just push it in and he said a trick he has is after you push it in, you can put something across that gap to keep it from pulling out. A piece of wood or something, I'll have to see what he means. And another tip he says is if you grease up the moving parts, the friction on the door handle is much less. And that's probably the true cause of this. So a little grease on the moving parts, not on that clip of course. And here, and up here. Honestly, this door hasn't been opening either, so <laughs> he's really helping us out, greasing up things. It seems like just the dirtiness and the grease needed will help a lot from getting mud up in that track as you drive on these crazy roads that we love. presentation about how the security works, how the heat um, film works. It's not a tint, it, they can do clear heat film and I think that would be better for us because uh, in certain places the tint could be illegal like in my state of Pennsylvania you're not allowed to have tint at all on the front windows and you can get pulled over for it which is like you know kind of sketchy. Heat would go on the sides and the front. And for the windshield, it would be about $200. Uh, for the sides, it would be $160 for the film. And then for this, which is a lot of money already. And then for the security, we saw another a video that he took where there was a baseball bat hit in the window and it didn't open and it didn't break. And the hammer hit in the window, it didn't break until like 10 or 10 hits to the window. For the sides, it'd be another 160. So we would, it would be a $520 improvement or investment, I guess, on the van. But the guy knows Alejandro so well that he said he would give us $100 off. So it would be $420 for, you know, the heat, like on the security. I don't know. I, I think I want to get it. I think it would be a good idea. And it would just make us feel a lot better because right now I feel like I can't leave the van. Like I just want to see the van at all times. I'm really nervous about the dog and the cat yeah, being in here. We should definitely get the security one, I think. And he said, you want to do the security one first because of how it attaches to the window. So you can always get the security one and then add the heat one later. But yeah, we're really trying to decide if we want to just do both. Yeah, so I think, so we're going to get the security one on the sides so that no one can break in again. But we should ask Snow and Kurt, see how much it costs them. They also have the heat locker too. So we're we're unsure. I, like I, I kind of want the heat one too because it's very hot. We're very close to the equator. Yeah, we'll figure it out and let you guys know. But we're heading through a toll booth. I guess Panama doesn't make extra Andros pay because we can't get the pass. So <laughs> it's just a funny thing. But um, yeah. We're gonna go to the city of knowledge and have some lunch with Alejandro. And then, yeah, hang out around there. It's gonna be a good day. So we're in the former canal zone to pick up our lunch. And I don't know about you guys, but these look like American houses. 
So the lunch is at a young woman owned business. It's veggie based. So I'm gonna be able to get some vegan food and it looks super tasty. We're really excited to try it out. Well, we decided to, uh, we decided after all to get that 3M security on the side windows and the heat, the heat protection one was just so sweet looking. Yeah. After that demo, we decided to get that installed on the, the windshield and the side windows also. The back windows are really tinted, so we're not worried as much about the security or the heat on those. Yeah, and there's, uh, we usually put the window covers up anyway, so maybe later we will get that done, but right now it's okay. They cut us a bit of a deal. We're going to get uh, cash and take the dog and cat for a bit of a walk so they're not so uh, <laughs> bored in there. Here's a little buddy. We have two bags for Graham. One is this backpack, which is a little bit smaller. He has to sit in it. And then the other one is the airplane bag, which is bigger, and that's what we had him sitting in in the office. So he's always comfy. <laughs> Yeah, and it's not that hot today either. No. Oh, feels good. But we're gonna chill later with the friend again, and he invited us to the pool, so that'll take the edge off for sure. Yeah. We want to thank Alejandro and Anna from Vibes of Panama so much for helping us on our time of need. And of course, we want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, let us know in the comments, like, and subscribe. See you next time.